welcome back to, or welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing another cash stuffing. I know you all just got one, um, but that was like an impromptu and just kind of getting back to filming my cash stuffing. So um, this is from this past week and you may notice a little different changes because sometimes I'll just stick if I have extra, I say, ooh, let me throw that in garden or whatever. But um, we're going to be stuffing my wallet. We're going to be stuffing um, kind of low priority, high priority, and business, and um, another kind of high priority. I do have a new business binder, but oh, I see it. Let me get it. Be right back. Okay, so this is my new business binder, but I haven't finished setting it up. Um, so it's just here, and I just have a few things in here. And I'm going to set that up later, but we'll be using this going forward in the future. And I may just rearrange some things on camera. But nonetheless, um, we're going to be stuffing these envelopes in a wallet. This is just working for me. I want to get a new wallet, but... It may be something I consider adding to the budget box. So that's why I'm kind of holding off on purchasing from someone else. So we're going to start here. And let's see what we got. Okay, sorry about that. So I've organized my money. Let's count it. Oh, and also I need to take money out here from the bank. That's what's going to... I ended up... Um, I think the last video y'all saw i had like a hundred dollar bill in here i just kept getting hundreds on saturday and i love getting hundreds because that way i don't break them or spend them and so i ended up putting like 400 in the bank and so that's for other digital savings and stuff like that so here's what we got so i just kept that in there to cash stuff so we have 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So we have a hundred and forty-five dollars. Okay, so we're gonna start with this wallet, and we're gonna give hubby ten dollars. Oh, so hubby has, and this is to kind of build up his fund, which eventually this will go into my one month ahead. So $15 for now. And I'm just building this up to my $50 a week that I give him and maybe a little extra. And then he'll eventually be on the month ahead. Uh, next up, we have garden. Garden is getting five. And let's see what garden has. Ten. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. A goat garden, because it's time for me to start getting some stuff. Okay. We're skipping products this week because we got products last week. Gas. Gas is getting 10. Y'all, this thing came off, Lord. Okay, gas was giving me a time. So gas already has um, 20 in it. We're going to give gas 10 more. Again, I'm just building this up. And like probably next week when I need gas, I'll add um, what I need. Oh, what did I say? So gas has $30. I'll put that there. Next up, my favorite category is eating out. Eating out is getting 50. So I'm just going to give that whole. I'm going to give them 220s. Well, you know what? I want to break it up because... Um, 10, excuse me, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and I'll give them this, because you know you need tip money sometimes when you go out, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, so eating out has 50. Next up is a miscellaneous. We're skipping gifts this week. Miscellaneous gets 10. Uh, 
And that is all for this binder here for my cash wallet. So my wallet is stuffed for the week. Uh, next up, we have taxes. And I believe taxes in here. There you go. This needs to go in my business binder. So I'm just going to move this out. And put that in the business. Taxes is getting five. I have some more categories for this, but um, I just need to make the envelopes. It's two, three, four, and five. And it's going to be getting more, but um, yeah, I got to build up because I wasn't prepared. Because I normally in my hair business, I do mine at the end of the year, but I need to be, need to be doing quarterly. But with the... Um, stationary business i need to be paying sales tax so that's that okay next we're going to do one month ahead i know i'm kind of all these different wallets and i'm going to eventually get them situated so last year i think we was doing one month ahead in uh, let me find the wallet this one here so one month ahead is going to be getting 45 dollars 20 30 40 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay. So we have 45 and one month ahead. And I'm going to fill this slip out later. Okay. And then, so month ahead is funded. Um, I do have, I need to be doing 145 a month. But I just did that to get it um, going. So next up, we have our one and five challenge. Nope, I'm sorry, nail supplies. And nail supplies is getting fired because I'm back doing nails. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm only doing one client every two weeks. <laughs> but that's about all I can do for the moment. So nail supplies has five. We're skipping household business supplies. Let me move this out the way and boss move. They're going to this binder. Y'all, I apologize for having to do this on camera, but I found this random uh, binder when I was selling them and nobody was buying them. So I sold off what I had and I knew I had an extra, and some, extra one somewhere and I found it when I was decluttering. So now it's my business binder. Okay, so we've done nail supplies, so we're doing the one in five challenge. And it's another binder. Sorry. It's in here. So here's the one in five challenge. We put someone in there last week, and that leaves us with five for the one in five challenge. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we are done, y'all. And let me tell you, this is going to be... A challenge for me but I'm so determined to get out of debt I'm so determined to finally get on track and I was binge watching some videos of Taylor budgets and um, baddies and budgets last night to help me go to sleep and I was so inspired some I'd already seen but um, I was just so inspired to like get this thing right this time so here are all my binders <laughs> And I'm going to try to leave these. I don't like leaving them on my desk. First of all, I don't have enough room. But, um, yeah, this is what we got going. So, I'll have these organized, hopefully, by the next time I do my cash stuffing. I'm going back to the 100 envelope challenge. And I'm going to attempt the 52-week challenge. Let me see. So, as I was going through my envelopes, I ran across the 52-week challenge. And I was, like, looking at it. And I was, like, you can do this, girl. You really could do this so this may be my challenge envelope so we got 52 weeks challenge here and I always look at the highest number to see if I can afford that and at one point I was like I can't afford that um, so I think I'm going to do when I get some extra I'm gonna try to do like 180 on my busy week I'm gonna try to do this this would have been a perfect week to do 180 but 
and I still may can. I still may can. And then I'm just going to be picking the highest is on my big biggest week and smallest on my slow weeks. So that's that. So yeah, I'm back, y'all. I'm back cash stuffing because I am on a mission to become debt free. Um, I want to be really three months ahead, but I'm going to work on the one month ahead. And that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. If today is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.